Good morning, YouTube. Today we have an HP 24 all in one. Um, it has a damaged LCD, and with these here, it is pretty much impossible to replace the LCD and make them affordable. And that due to the fact that everything is just attached to the screen itself. So we are going to do a disassembly of this model. We will point out the hard drive and how you would change the hard drive and the RAM and stuff like that during this disassembly. But this is basically a disassembly of this product. We didn't see any online, so hopefully this helps someone if they need to change something and that. So basically it's pretty simple. There's one screw that's going to hold this back on. It is right down here. You're going to have to move your stand up or down to try and get to it. And it's not the easiest one to get to, but and once you do, then you will pop this little thing here loose. So, little pick here. Get it underneath there. Kind of slide it around and pop some of these clips loose. You can hear them snap and crack here. Some make a lot of pop than others, but definitely one there that didn't want to come free. Give it a couple on the bottom. Probably blocking you, but all right. So now it's all loose. What we will do is we will set it up and I rotate it back. Let's see if we can twist our camera here a little bit. So basically, when you set it up, it's like this we rotate it back. And that should allow you to move it down if that screw is loose. It looks like it is. And this could be the tricky part here. It's going to actually slide off there. And it will eventually slide down just like that. Once you have that down, you can go ahead and lay it back down. And even though this screen has already been destroyed, we still go ahead and take the precautions of putting the towel down. All right. So your hard drive is going to be let me see, right here. It's probably going to be very simple. You're going to just unplug it and you pull that straight out. And it looks as though there's going to be one screw right here that's going to hold the caddy in. You might actually have the wrong size screwdriver. Sorry about that. We'll grab the other screwdrivers here. There we 
go. And that should free up your hard drive. It is in this little caddy that you can go ahead and take out. So that is how you remove the hard drive. Now the RAM and everything is going to be located underneath this here. And we're going to go ahead and start taking out all of our screws here. If you're reassembling this, you want to make sure you're placing all these screws on a magnetic mat so that you know where they go so that you can reassemble it. We won't be reassembling ours. And yeah, I think I need to switch screwdrivers. I think I can get away with that one that's a little bit smaller, but that tip seems to be just off. Even though this is just a plain disassembly, you will notice that we are still keeping track of our screws. And I don't like the way they go ahead and just keep switching the sizes of screws. But I believe this here is where you would replace your fan if it would quit. And we will point all this out as we get to it. And now if you're just upgrading RAM or replacing the RAM, and that all you're going to do is remove this little guy here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this stand and get it out of my way. Once you remove those five screws, you can actually get this stand out of your way and make it much easier to work on. You should have done that first. Go ahead and pull these couple screws. We should be able to take this metal plate off after that. Nope. I might have missed one right down here. And here. And I see another one I think I'm going to have missed on the other side. There's a couple pieces of tape here, but I think we should be able to go ahead and get it. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. And then we'll 
tool here. You're just going to cut through these little guys. You can remove the tapes if you want to, just like that. But again, we're not going to be reassembling this. So on the video, you'll just reverse everything that you do to reassemble this. But they might have sealed it down a little bit, so it's not as easy to pull off as you thought it might be. But that opens everything up. You have your CPU here, RAM here. Looks like they might even have an M2 drive in here, and that's what was sealed down. So uh, here's your NIC card, your CMOS battery. Like I said, you have your fan over here, your motherboard underneath everything. Everything on this is attached to the screen, which is kind of unfortunate. That's what makes it so expensive and makes it impossible to actually refurbish these, but there's some good parts here that I am sure somebody will need and all that. Fan comes loose. Unhook its wire and that's how you remove the fan if you need to replace the fan on it. Here's your cooler for your CPU. This should be the next thing we'll go ahead and pull off here. back to whoever that was on the phone. And you can remove your cooler and that exposes your CPU down there. If you press down and lift that wire up, that will remove your bracket and then you can pull directly up on your CPU. Actually, this doesn't have pins, so there you go. And that's how you would change your CPU out if you would need to. But again, we're not putting any of this back here. So here's your RAM. Very simple on changing RAM. You pop it out. You just slide your new one back in there. The M2 drive here. It just unscrews and pulls right out. Makes that pretty simple. Piece of tape covering the screw that holds your NIC card in for your network. Network interface card is why it's called NIC. And it pulls out. Pretty simple. It's hooked on by two little wires. These are very difficult to reattach. It may take you multiple times. You're replacing that. And down to our CMOS battery here. You got a little lever here. You're going to push that in. It pops right out. You get your CMOS battery. Now, if you're actually replacing the screen, you have multiple more screws that you're going to have to take out. You're going to remove the motherboard. You're going to remove everything and just attach it to the new screen, like we mentioned before. But again, we will show you pretty much the complete disassembly of this unit. And I'm sure most of what you guys are going to have changed on this unit we have already covered. But, all right, so that 
does have the motherboard loose. So now we are going to unplug all of our cables and that. these two poles straight out right there. This one is going to pull straight up. This one will have a little lever here. Pop up that little black lever and pull it out. If you're putting it back in, make sure it goes into that little black line you see there. Again, a little black lever you pop up. This one pulls out. Black lever up. Pull out. White lever up. And pull out. And I believe that is all of our cables. And I was wrong. We have one more here. It's going to pull straight up. And there is your motherboard. That brings us down to removing this. Um, the screen that we looked at that we decided was too expensive to use already had this metal bracket on it. So we are going to go ahead and end our video here. If yours doesn't, you're going to go ahead and remove the rest of these screws. Take out your metal bracket. Again, just do everything in reverse. If you're replacing any of this stuff, we're just assembling to recycle this system so we won't be reassembling. Thank you. Uh, please like and subscribe. Ask any questions.